Hi. Thank you very much for joining us on the Patient Insight video series. Um, this time we'll be focusing on the mental health impact of living with an inherited metabolic disorder. Could you tell me a little bit about your son's condition and what it means to him? Uh, yeah, so Austin is nine years old. Um, he has a um, urea cycle disorder uh, called arginosuccinic acid urea. Um, he was diagnosed with that at four days old um, after going into a coma at three days old at home. Um, he is on a protein restricted diet um, which gradually increases um, as he gets bigger and he is also on medication three times a day. Um, he is at risk of potentially going into a, a comatose state further um, if medication isn't taken and if he doesn't follow the correct diet. Great, thank you very much. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about the effects of Austin's diagnosis um, and what impact this had on your emotional well-being? Yeah, um, so I think when, like most women, when you're pregnant, um, you you hope for a happy, healthy baby, just like you were. Um, I had all these plans and visions for him and for us as a family. Um, and when he was diagnosed and went into a coma as well um the impact on my mental health was huge it was catastrophic you're you're plunged into this world of the unknown um you don't know from one hour to the next as to sort of what's going to happen um it, and yeah it's scary um and you you feel very very alone um yeah. And what encouraged you to seek help? Um, I struggled for um, a good four years. I think it was just over four years um, of not feeling myself. I thought that I was just a normal mum uh, who was coping with a child who wasn't very well in and out of hospital and you know, learning difficulties. Um, and I just thought this is this is just the way that it's meant to be. Um, I then suffered a relationship breakdown. And from that, I then, I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, and I had a, a mental breakdown um, and had to seek help at that point. It's wonderful that you did and, and thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. Um, what sort of help and support did you receive? What, what effect did that have on you? So initially uh, it was the typical, uh, you go to the GP, uh, they prescribe you some antidepressants. It's almost as if they kind of want to put a plaster on to make it all better. Um, and I, I took those, um, things got worse before they got better. Um, and that was something that I then had to adjust to, um, slowly as I went through different medications, nothing was really working for me. Um, it wasn't until, well, I then had some, um, some counseling as well, face to face, um, talking therapy um which which massively helped um but it focused more on relationships and and my support network and things like that and I still didn't feel like it was really doing anything um it wasn't until I fell pregnant with my second child Imogen um that I then accessed the help from the perinatal mental health team um, which is something that women can have up until a year postnatal so if somebody were to have a baby that 
is diagnosed with a rare metabolic condition or you know anything really it's still something that you can access and through that I was put on to a, a medication that is now working incredibly um, but the most groundbreaking thing for me was having something called EMDR therapy um, which is eye movement um, desensitization reprocessing um, and I can now safely say that I've been cured, um, cured, but you still, you know, you still have, you still have the days where you have your down days. I'm still very anxious, but I don't have flashbacks like I was having. Um, I don't catastrophize everything. Um, and I just feel a lot happier and more settled in my life, really. That's wonderful news. And we know from speaking from a lot of families that, that once you receive a diagnosis, you are almost thrown into this whirlwind and you, you end up dealing with things a bit like a military exercise as such and that you, you're just thrown into this situation and, it, and it's, you've got to deal with it because that's what you've got to do. So it's important to take that time to focus on yourself, to reach out and access that help that you need. What advice would you give to other people who were in a similar situation to you? Um, ask for help. Um, don't wait. Um, it's not a normal situation that you have been plunged into. Um, and actually for you to be the best kind of parent that you could be, male or female um you need to have time for you and you need to have support and you need to be as healthy as possible in your mental health to be there and to be an anchor of strength for for your child thanks ever so much mia that was wonderful um thank you for all of your time thank you for sharing your experience with us um we know that that mental health is a, is a huge topic at the moment it's wonderful to see so many people are willing to talk about their experiences to help other people so thank you for your input today thanks Mia